Trying to grow a YouTube channel from zero views and zero subscribers is really difficult. There's tons of competition in every niche and videos from new channels often get ignored even if they're really high quality content. But you can use Google Ads to promote your YouTube videos which can help you build an audience and grow much, much faster. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. And before you get started advertising one of your videos, it's important that your channel is ready, otherwise you're just going to waste money. So make sure your channel is all set up, you've written the description, you've got a channel banner and all that sort of stuff. And ideally you'd also have three to five or more high quality videos published on your channel. You want to make sure that these videos are high quality. You also want to make sure that they're relevant around one topic. What we want is to advertise one of your videos, encourage people to watch it, then watch it, enjoy it, and then go on to watch your other videos. If you've got other high quality and relevant videos published, that makes that much more likely. So with that said, let's walk you through the process. So I'm in an example Google ad account here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on new campaign and new campaign. Then when it comes to promoting YouTube videos via Google Ads, let's go ahead and select create a campaign without goals guidance, and then we want to select video from the subsequent menu. Now there's a bunch of different options here. You can see the default is custom video campaign. That's what I'd recommend you use. That's what I'm going to use for demonstration purposes in this video. So go ahead and click continue. Then we want to give our campaign a name. So I'm just gonna call this YouTube video promotion. Obviously you can call your campaign whatever it, you'd like it to be. If you're gonna have lots of different campaigns running, promoting different YouTube videos, things like that, then you want to name it something that's gonna mean something to you later on. When it comes to bid strategy, we're gonna leave it at maximum CPV. That'll make a little bit more sense um, in a minute. And then we need to get into the budgets and dates. Now, personally, I've always been a fan of using daily budgets when it comes to any sort of online advertising. I like that daily budgets sort of forces me to come in and check this regularly and make adjustments depending on the data that I see. There's a tendency if you select campaign total and you select an end date for you to just run and run and you just let it be. And once you set it live, you'll just assess it at the end of the campaign. And I don't think that's the way to get the best results possible. So I'm going to go ahead and select daily. And like anything Google Ads related, you want to start off relatively small. What that is for you will depend on your specific circumstances. But you know, we might start with five pound, five dollars, ten dollars a day advertising a video, see how it performs. We can always look to increase it later on. And because of the reasons that I discussed already, I'm not going to go ahead and add in an end date. Then we've got the networks. Now, if we go ahead and select um, the, the drop down to bring up the menu, you can see obviously we've got YouTube search results, YouTube videos. Those are clearly things we want, but it's important that you deselect video partners on the display network. We only want this ad to run on YouTube. The objective here is to build a YouTube channel, not much point in doing so elsewhere. Then we get into the locations. Now, if you're interested in the fastest possible growth when it comes to your YouTube channel, you want to get as many views, subscribers, perhaps you want to get monetized where you need your thousand subscribers, 4,000 watch hours, then I definitely recommend going with all countries and territories. If you're much more um, focused, perhaps you're a, a local business, you only operate in certain areas and you're building a YouTube channel in order to find customers and you think, well, there's just no point in having viewers and subscribers from different locations, then you can be more specific. But I imagine most of you are going to want to select all countries and territories, grow quickly um, with the objective of building an audience and then your videos can often take care of themselves. We're gonna leave all languages as is. Then we get down to the inventory type. Um, not gonna to explain too much about this, gonna have other videos talking about this, but we're just gonna go ahead and use standard inventory for now. That's all you really need to know to get set up with this. Um, and then we can, we've got excluded types and labels. So if we click on this and open it up, one of the things that we can do is we can say, I don't want my ad to run in certain circumstances. For example, if a YouTube video has been embedded on a website, do I want my ads to run, say, in stream or around it? No, I'd, I, I would rather not have that. The same applies to live streaming videos. So I would recommend that you deselect both of those, at least when you're getting started. Maybe it's something that you want to experiment with um, later on. And then when it comes to live streaming videos, maybe that's going to be more important for you depending on the niche that you're operating in within YouTube. And if there's lots of live stream content, then that might be more applicable. But I deselect it for now. You can always go ahead and, um, and add it back in later on. Okay, then we get to a section here called related videos. Now what this, this section here allows you to do is add videos that are related to the one you actually want to advertise um, and they're gonna appear, you can see on this right hand side, related videos appear below your video ad, offer an immersive um, video experience. So it gives you a greater chance to attract a viewer, therefore I'd recommend adding it in. So you can add in between two and five videos that are related 
to your the video that you're going to be promoting. Um, and you can go ahead and paste in the URLs in here. You can just start typing. So for example, if I just pop in my name, it's going to come up with various videos from my YouTube channel. Um, and I could just go ahead and add in a whole bunch. Now, obviously, you would want to make sure that these were relevant to the topic of the video that you're actually going to promote. So give that a little bit of thought. If you want to come back in and do this later, once you've got yourself all set up with the video that you're actually going to advertise, that's fine. But as I said, you can add in two to five. I usually recommend doing so. There's very little limited downside. I've just gone and added in five that have popped up straight away for demonstration purposes. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and click done. Then we get down to this people section, who you want to reach. Now, I don't want you to add in anything here. And that sounds a little bit crazy. You think we're not just going to go with completely open targeting, are we? Surely we're going to narrow it down. And we are, but actually we're going to do that using this content section and specifically placement. So leave demographics, audience segments, keywords, topics, all blank. Just come down to placement. Now, what we can do when we're promoting a YouTube um, video that works really, really well is only promote it alongside other highly related videos or YouTube channels. So if I go ahead and select YouTube videos here and add in the term Facebook ads, I have a Facebook advertising um, YouTube channel and I might want to advertise some of my Facebook ads related videos alongside, for example, this tutorial by Jordan Platt and Facebook Ads Tutorial 2022. Perhaps I want to go through this and select Andrew's video and David Fogarty's video and all that sort of stuff and add these various options in. Now, that's the reason why we didn't add anything up here at the in the people section or even in this keyword topic is because if we're only advertising alongside very specific videos, we know that the people that are seeing our ads are highly likely to be interested in our YouTube video, whatever it is that we're advertising. So when you're going through this list, just think about the mindset here. Just think, okay, if someone's watching this video, how to run Facebook ads in 2022 beginners tutorial, are they going to also be interested in the video that I'm promoting here? If the answer is yes, then this is a great option. So you can do that for um, specific videos. You can also do it for channels. You can see I obviously come up um, putting in Facebook ads, but there are various other options. You go through and select some and, and advertise alongside the videos from a whole channel as opposed to selecting specific ones. But I do like to be specific here. Um, I think that being operating with a smaller budget, being really specific when you're getting started is important because you want to attract the right type of people to your YouTube channel. You want to attract people that are going to watch your future videos, not just the one now, they're going to be ongoing, somewhat loyal is a big word, but you know the sort of thing I'm talking about. They're going to, to follow you and keep going. Okay, so let's go ahead and deselect that. It also makes this process fairly straightforward just to add in stuff at the placement stage. Okay, then we need to do maximum CPV bid. So what are we willing to pay as a maximum cost per view? The more specific you are here at the placement section, the larger your bid needs to be. And that's because the more specific you get, the more competition there is amongst other um, advertisers for those eyeballs. If you go with completely open targeting, you're gonna see really low cost per view. So I would usually start with something relatively expensive. You know, here we've got 50p cost per view. That's gonna work out about 70 cents, something like that, if you're operating with, with US dollars. But you can always come in here and adjust it later on. I'd recommend going on the higher side. You might think, ah, oh, 50p just for one view per view, that seems expensive. But if you come in and you see that when your results, oh, actually we're averaging 30p, 25, you can always reduce it later on. That's not a problem. Okay, then we need to actually create the video ad. Now this process is fairly straightforward. So you need to decide the actual video that you want to uh, to be advertising, um, to be promoting to get people to watch. So you can just put in the URL here or even just the title of your video. So if I just search for, I found a better way to advertise. There we go, and it's popped up now. And this is one of my better forming videos. I'd recommend if you have had a channel that's been up and running, you can see which videos have got more views, better feedback, definitely go put your best foot forward here and go with your better quality videos. And this is, I found a better way to advertise on Facebook. And obviously this video here is highly, highly related to the placement options. That's very important. Otherwise people aren't going to, to click through and check it out. It's also very related to the related videos. All these are other videos of mine around Facebook advertising. 
Okay, very important that that's the case. Then we have a decision to make. What kind of ad are we going to use? There's three different types, but unless your video is less than six seconds long, which I find um, very unlikely, you're not going to be able to use bumper ads, so we can ignore that for now. The first option is skippable in-stream ads. So this is a type of ad that I'm sure you're very familiar with. When you start watching a YouTube video, right at the beginning is nearly always an ad, and you can skip it after you know a few seconds, right? Now, can you use this option? Yes but it's not what I would recommend for promoting a YouTube video. And you can see that Google doesn't recommend it either. They say here, videos longer than three minutes don't usually perform as well as shorter videos. I imagine the YouTube video you want to promote is longer than three minutes. Uh, mine certainly are. So we're not gonna go ahead with that option. We're going to go ahead with the in-feed video ad. And again, we've got a preview um, on the right-hand side. Now, if we hover over this little question mark, we can see that this in-feed vi in video ad, what used to be called video discovery ad, and you can see that that's what they've got in here, video discovery ads, can appear on YouTube search results. So if someone's searching for something highly related next to related videos, like the placement options that we've talked about or on the YouTube homepage, they invite users to click on a thumbnail consisting of an image and text to watch the ad. So because um, of the way this ad is structured, someone needs to actually click on it to go ahead and check it out as opposed to the in skippable in-stream ad, it just playing automatically. And that's exactly what we want. And that's why this is the better ad type because we're only going to attract people who actually watch the video who have decided to click on it. Whereas with the skippable in-stream ads, that video just starts automatically playing. We don't know whether they're actually really interested or not. If they're distracted, it could just keep playing. We could end up being charged for someone that's not that interested. That's not what we want. We want people to proactively take an action and say, yes, I'm interested. We know that therefore they're a good person to be involved in our YouTube channel that could go on to um, become a subscriber, watch our videos, all that sort of good stuff, okay? So go with in-feed video ad to get started. Then when it comes to the thumbnail, I'd absolutely use the thumbnail that you are already using in that YouTube video. Then with the headline, um, we would normally just put in the title. So here we've got, I found a better way to advertise on Facebook and then the description one description and by the way you've got a preview on this right hand side that shows you exactly how this is going to look which is great um, and then for description one description two you probably just want to take some of the the text from the description you can see that you're quite character limited here 35 characters per line so I could have something like ever wondered if there's a better way to advertise on Facebook something like that. Now these description lines aren't always going to appear. Um, you can break it up into two like that. You could have two separate lines depending on what you want to do. Absolutely fine. Um, ad name is just something internal that's not going to be displayed to the people that actually see your ad. So you could go with ad one. I would normally call it something like um, something that's relevant to the video because that's going to make sense. So I found a better way video ad when I come back and review this, particularly if I'm running lots of different types, that's gonna show me. Right, that's the ad created. Now we can go ahead and click create campaign. And that is the process. As you can see, it's really quite straightforward. I'd recommend that you keep a very close eye on the video that you're promoting, see how well it performs, see if people are going from there to check out your other videos. Do you see the views in those videos increase? Very important stuff. You might want to experiment with testing a number of different videos to promote, um, but this can really help you build your channel and grow it much faster, particularly early on when your videos are just being ignored because you've got a brand new channel. Before you go, I'd also recommend that you check out this video, which shows you how to write exceptional Google Ads headlines. It'll help you get the most out of this strategy. It'll also help you write better YouTube video titles as well.